Welcome to another video. Today I will show you how to send orders to market with Python through MetaTrader 5. First we import MetaTrader 5 and then we use mt.initialize to connect to the platform. On the left side we have our Jupyter Notebook with the code and on the right side you will see how the code will interact with our MetaTrader 5 platform so you will see any opened or modified orders on the right side. Let's start with the first type of order which is the market order. A market order is a type of order that will instantaneously open a buy or a sell order for a current price. And to create a market order, we have to create our request dictionary with the following parameters. First, we have the action. And for to open a market order, you have to specify trade action deal. A trade action deal means that you want to buy or sell as of this moment. Then we have symbol, because today is Sunday, we will be trading on Bitcoin. And here in the volume section, you specify how much you want to buy. So in this case, 1.0 contracts. Then you have to specify whether we want to buy or sell. So if you want to buy, we specify mt 5order type buy. Otherwise, if you want to sell, type mt 5order type sell. Then we have to specify the price for which we want to buy. And if it's a market order, you want to buy for a current price. And to get the current price on Bitcoin, we have to use mt 5symbolinfo info tick and then pass in the symbol name, which will return the current price on Bitcoin. And if it's a buy order, you want to buy for the ask price. Otherwise, if you're selling, you want to sell for a bid price. So um, here, if it's a sell, just uh, type dot bit here. Optionally, you can also add a stop loss and take profit. In this case, I have none. And also, we have the deviation. The deviation is a tolerance parameter. Let's say that you want to buy Bitcoin for its current price, but then price moves during your request. So we want to still execute the order with some slippage and the deviation is the maximum slippage you're allowing uh, for this order. Magic specifies a unique number identifier for the order, and you can also add a comment. In this case, the comment is Python script open. Now, type time stands the order time validity of your order. So if we specify order time GTC, GTC stands for good till canceled. It means that your order will be valid until you cancel it. Other types of time filling is uh, by the end of the day, so or you can also make custom duration. So if you want your order to be valid for only one hour, you can do that as well. Lastly, we have type filling, and uh, here you have filling types like fill or kill or immediate or cancel. In this case, the broker IC markets, which is the platform in the right, only supports immediate or cancel. So for opening a trade, I have to specify order filling IOC. Immediate or cancel means that uh, it allows partial filling my order, and if the rest of my order cannot be filled in the market, it will be canceled. So now that we have this request dictionary, we have to pass it to order sent, which is here, and let's see what it does. So let's run this. And on the right side, we see that we've just opened a position on Bitcoin with type buy, volume one, and here is the current price. So we see that the market order worked. Next up, we have a request that will close our order. And to close our order, we need to find the ticket number of our open position. In this case, the current open position Bitcoin is 16540532. Let me copy that. 16540532. 532. And to get the trading data of this open position, we can use positions get. And with positions get, we can get uh, data like the ticket of the order, the symbol, the volume, which will be necessary for the request. Also, we need to specify the current tick data on Bitcoin USD because uh, when we buy, an order, right? The counter uh, action is to sell. So whenever we have 
uh, position, position type, which is equal to zero. In MT5, it means a sell position. So to close a sell position, we're buying. Otherwise, to close a buy position, we're selling. So the request here is, again, a trade action deal. We have to specify the position for a ticket, the symbol, which is position.volume. Again, position was defined with positions get up here. The type, so again, if we have a buy order, we want to sell now, or if we have a sell order, we want to buy now, and we want to close for the current uh, price. If it's, uh, again, a buy position, right, you want to uh, buy for the ask price. If it's sell, you are selling for the bid price. Then you have deviation, magic. In the comments, I did Python, Python script close, and the time is, again, GTC and the filling is IOC. If you run this, this position should now close. So let's see. And we see that this is successful. Now let's try uh, another example and let's try to close uh, using partial close only. So let's say you don't want to close the entire position but only want to close half of the position. This is very easy. First, let me open a position with market order. So we've now opened a position and go to the partial close section. And instead of um, specifying the entire volume here, right, you can specify how much you want to close. And if the volume is less than the current open position, it will partially close. Again, I need to copy the ticket number from my current open position. This is 16540 the request dictionary is the same as here. The only difference here is in the volume. So currently I have one lot open on Bitcoin and let's say I only want to close half, right? So 0 0.5. So let's run this. And we see that the volume changed from one to 0 0.5. So half of the position has been closed. If you want to close uh, 0 0.25, let's try that we see that now 0.25 were closed. So now to close the entire position, let's close on 0.25. And this is how we partially close in the platform. Let's now go to limit orders. So to open limit order, the difference here is in the action. So before in the action to open a market order, we had trade action deal. In the limit order section, we have to create a pending order. So it is mt 5trade action pending. So now we can specify a symbol, the volume, and in the type, instead of order type buy, we have to specify order type buy limit, which is telling the platform, please open a buy limit order. And in this case, I decided to create a buy limit order on Bitcoin uh, at $1,000 less. Again, you can specify stop loss, take profit, magic, in the comments, I did Python script by limit, and in the type time, I have order time GTC, and the type filling is order filling return. Here, we are not opening real position, so immediate or cancel, fill or cure, kill does not matter. So the return uh, MT5 type filling just says, just try again and again until it gets opened. So let's uh, open the limit order now. So let's press run. And we see that a limit order has been created. And if you look on the higher time frames of the chart, right, it is thousand dollars below the current price. So our buy limit is here. Besides limit orders, we also have stop orders. And for stop orders, it works basically the same way. We have trade action pending, and in the type, we have to specify order type buy stop. If you want to sell, use order type sell stop. And for stop orders, what stop orders do is once price reaches a certain level, it will uh, buy. So uh, for the price, I set the buy stop $1,000 above the current price. And if you run this, now a stop order has been created above this current price here. Also, uh, Let's also look at modifying orders. So let's say we want to modify uh, stop loss or take profit. 
And to do that, let's open another trade with market order. And now to update the stop loss and take profit, we only need uh, four parameters. So the action is MT5.trade action stop loss take profit. And uh, you just have to add the number, the position ID, and the values for stop loss and take profit. So uh, to get the position ID, uh, we can find it here in the open position terminal. And let me copy the numbers 16540.5573. And let's say I want to set the stop loss and take profit. So current Bitcoin is at 61,674. So let's set the take profit to 850. It should be somewhere around here and set the stop loss to 61,400, for example. So currently we see that this position has no stop loss and no take profit. But after I run this, this should now update. So we see that modify stop and stay profit work. We see our take profit stop loss here and also the values updated here. Last thing, we have delete order. So in case your buy limit or sell pending order does not get executed, you might want to delete the order after some time. And deleting orders is very simple. Let's uh, open a pending order first. So we are opening a limit order on BTCUSD again, which is here. And to delete an order, you just have to specify in the request dictionary action. The action is trade action remove and just add the order key. And here the order is just the order number of the ticket, which is here. So let me copy that 16540.5584. So if I run this, this limit order should now cancel. And it got removed. So here we see how we can open, close uh, positions, add pending orders, modify orders, or also like close uh, pending positions. This is it for this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching.